Hey guys, Joel here from Transies Trailers at Moncton. We're going to do a quick walk around and give a little demonstration of our 2020 Gincor 25 ton Tritum air till air ramp tag float. Let's have a look. I'll start at the front. We have an adjustable eye for all different heights of trackers. Lots of, lots of adjustment there. Two safety chains instead of cables. Really like the safety chain. A huge toolbox. And it has a wire mesh bottom. So it's going to let any of the water and crud fall out of there and not get your chains and binders and flags all dirty and rusty. Uh, we've got a two speed heavy duty haul and landing gear. Uh, two legs instead of one. Uh, works really well. We don't use a mechanical lock, we use an air lock and it works awesome. Um, our buttons are recessed below the rail, so there's no chance of throwing a chain over and hitting it. As you can see, it's tucked in there really nice. This is a change we've made in the last couple of years. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it and uh, we'll tilt the deck. I'll keep the camera up here on the, on the lock and we'll, we'll show you how that works. If you push the button in, it unlocks. And we're gonna go ahead and push our button in to tilt the deck. pretty quick so you'll notice that we have two safety chains so you can't overextend the the dual airbags there's our airlock really simple design um, work works awesome we've got some guides there so the trailer comes down perfectly flush with the frame every time really beefy C channel style cross members and uh, just gonna have a look here at the floor we use an Apatong hardwood floor which in my mind is the best in the business it's gonna last it's not gonna rot out on you um, it's gonna hold up with all your tracked machinery and our wood is above our outside rail it's gonna give you lots of traction lots of D-rings on this trailer look at the D-rings LED lighting. Um, we can add strobes to these no problem. We've got a, a really, really nice paint job on here too. They use, they have awesome paint. We're on a 235 tire instead of a 215. A uh, little, little heavier duty. They're a full wide track axle. It's going to meet all your, all your regulations. One thing I do like about these trailers also is uh, the wheel cutouts. You'll notice that if you stick your fingers up in behind the wheel cutouts, it's doubly reinforced in here. This is going to give you lots and lots of strength for loading heavy machines on the outside of the, of the trailer. And you'll notice that they have these reinforcement bars over top of the wheel pans. There's nothing worse than a bent wheel pan on a tag float. They just they look terrible and this thing's going to hold up. The transition point is also made out of steel, not wood, so when you drive your machine up, it's going to teeter uh, on the steel instead of wood, and it's going to hold up really, really well. We, uh, we add these removable browser bars for traction. Uh, we find getting onto the trailer, uh, any trailer um, in this area, is, is where you're going to have the most amount of trouble, and this is going to help you out. These are awesome. It's going to give you really good stability loading a machine on. It's not going to be shaky. It's going to stay stable. There's four of them. And they all touch the ground really nice. Um, I guess we're looking at the ramps, so we'll talk about those. Lots of different options on the ramps. Uh, these ones are, are also laid with Apatong hardwood. We can do steel ramps, uh, steel grouser bar, um, clean out style if you like. These seem to be the most popular. They're nice and wide, so you can load pretty well anything on this. But they have enough space in between that you can still knuckle down a, an excavator and it'll, the boom will fit out through and lots of room for the hoses. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll tilt, uh, we'll drop the ramps. Pull the clevises. I like to stick these back on as I always lose them.
So the button at the back is the same design as the front. It's out of the way. It's not going to hit by, get hit by a chain. It's tucked in out of there. So we're going to go ahead and give that a pull. It takes a few minutes, but gives you the opportunity to get out of the way. I want to point out these trailers are built in Canada and they're built for our climate I mentioned the paint earlier they uh, they have an awesome paint process their wiring is, is built for our climate really really uh, really happy with them check that approach angle out that is awesome you can load anything on that The headboard's quite beefy on it also. It's gonna keep you from driving off the front. So now the deck's back down, we'll go ahead and lock it. I should note that you have to have air to it to unlock that, uh, that deck. That won't come unlocked if you lose air. This is what operates our ramps. It's a really simple airbag system. It's up and out of the way. It's tucked in there. It's really trouble free. We haven't been stocking any manual ramps this day and age. A lot of people have back issues and as you can see, uh, pretty easy to operate. Give us a call today. We'd love to sell you one of these.